This is the Yamaha A400 natural sound stereo amplifier as they call it. I don't think it's working. So we'll start with just powering it up and see if it turns on. It doesn't seem to turn on. Okay, let's take a look inside. It's a bit dirty on top. Pretty dirty on the inside as well. It could use a cleaning before we start troubleshooting. It looks to be in quite decent condition now that it's clean. Okay, let's start off with some voltage measurements. So the main voltage enters here and we should be able to measure it here. There we have 230 volts. It then goes to the transformer through the fuse and the switch. So here we have the output of the transformer. It goes to these three pins. So let's measure those. Let's power it up. Nothing on the first two. Let's take a look at the other red one. No voltage there either. Okay, maybe something wrong with the power switch. So if the power switch is not closing, there will be no current going through the transformer. So let's do a continuity test of the switch. Now the mains power is turned off. Okay, so the power switch seems to be working. Okay, so the fuse is intact and the switch is intact. So there could be something wrong with the transformer or with the wires. So let's start by doing continuity test with the wires. And the blue wire. Okay, so the loop seems to be intact. All that is left is the transformer and these small pieces of wire going to it. So let's see if we get a resistance reading on the transformer. Now the loop is closed, so we should be able to measure the transformer resistance on these two pins. And we get nothing. So this indicates that the transformer is damaged. It seems like we can open up this plastic cap to check the connection between these wires and the primary winding on the transformer. So let's do that. So here we have the transformer terminals for the primary winding. So now we should be able to measure the resistance of the transformer directly on the terminals. So we just get an open circuit again. So it does actually seem like the transformer is burned out. Now you don't see that very often. Usually the safety features such as fuses and circuit breakers make sure that this doesn't happen. But of course, transformers can fail as well, just as any other component. Let's measure the resistance on the secondary widening for reference. We have 1.4 ohms, 1.3 and 1.54 ohms. So let's resolder the three terminals to make sure it's not just a correct solder joint. Okay, let's measure it again. So at least this connection is fine between the first and the last terminal. If we look closely we can see that this terminal and this terminal is connected to the primary winding, which is on the inside of the transformer, and then we have the secondary winding on the outside. So I can't really see what this terminal is connected to, but it goes down here and comes back up here and connects to the primary winding. So I do believe it's some kind of fuse. And since it's stuffed in between the windings, I'm pretty sure it's a temperature fuse. So if that's the case, it's probably mainly because of safety reasons to make sure that this transformer does not burst into flames if something goes wrong. So if it is just a thermal fuse that's blown, we should be able to test it by attaching mains power to these terminals instead. Okay, let's turn on the power and see what happens. No smoke yet. Okay, so let's measure some voltage to make sure the transformer delivers its intended voltage. Okay, so I've attached the multimeter to the negative output of the full bridge rectifier. 
it should be around minus 44 volts. Let's see how close we are. That's probably close enough. Now it seems really tricky to get this fuse out, but I think I'm going to try. Right, let's see if we can pull it out. So here we have the fuse. Here we have its replacement. Let's reuse this heat resistant insulation as well. Okay, let's just make sure we didn't damage the fuse during installation. It's good. Let's resolder the power cord. And let's glue the plastic piece in place. Okay, let's see if it turns on. Alright, it turns on. Now let's see if the rest of the amplifier is working. Let's connect some speakers. <laughs> 